it's often surprising for people um, when they start to do some work on their self. And when I say work on themselves, they realize that uh, maybe they're carrying a lot of baggage, maybe they're feeling quite anxious, maybe they're not sleeping well, and they take a decision to actually go and figure out why and to see what they can do to heal themselves emotionally, physically, as well as spiritually. And I think that there is a, uh, a tendency to believe that well, we have a couple of sessions with a therapist and then we're all done, when actually it is a dedicated commitment to continually clearing away the veils of the egoic human self that don't really work in alignment with our, our true core essence. And our true core essence is pure unconditional love. It's a really beautiful state, but as, as human beings, we can't access this very easily because of all the stuff that we're carrying in our body. And this was one of the reasons why when I started looking at techniques to help my clients after they'd worked with me, I wanted to find a way where they could almost have a daily therapy to continue uh, processing and releasing everything that is stopping them from being uh, their best version of themselves. So this is why breathing space is incredibly powerful. Breathing space is uh, a, a technique that, you know, is designed to go in and search for the emotions that are stuck or unprocessed or are toxic that you're holding in your body. So the job is initially to identify where they are and then to start to work on them and soften them because often they've become very hardened and very compact and it's really difficult um, to release them when they're really compact. It's a bit like, I know this is a terrible example, but it's a bit like if you're constipated and you can't go to the toilet because your poo is really, really compact and hard and so you need something to soften those stools so you can actually go to the toilet because when emotions are softened, I know that's a really bad example and I do tend to use really strange examples, so apologies for that. So when we soften our emotions, they can come up for healing and it doesn't matter why they're there or what they're there. Anything that we're holding on to just makes us feel heavier and what I love about this is that it's like having daily therapy uh, without having to go to a therapist and you can do your daily therapy at home and it's actually over and done with quite quickly. Uh, so it's just short, regular sessions that, you know, gradually start to create this wonderful feeling of expansion, of liberation, of ease, of everything feels comfortable, you don't feel scared anymore. And it's totally possible, you know, wherever you are, and whatever age you are, and whatever challenges you've gone through in your life, there is always opportunity uh, that, you know, you, you can completely transform everything if you wanted to, everything. And I think that that's what makes life so exciting. We go through this journey, we, we, we experience a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, and yet ultimately, if we're committed to working on ourselves on a regular basis, then we stop connecting with the pain, we stop noticing the suffering, we're more aware of the lightness, of the joy, of the ease, of how peaceful life feels. And it suddenly becomes quite magical because you think about something that you want and then something quite as strange happens that brings that into your tangible awareness. So that's a, a, a really uh, big reason for me why I do breathing space every single day. 
and I know when I don't do it and every now and again I might go through a really busy time and I think I can you know I think I'm fine I'm okay mm. so I think well I'll, I'll kind of won't do breathing space for a few days and then those few days goes on um, for you know maybe a week and then it's two weeks and suddenly I notice I'm feeling really frustrated with um, uh, my mum actually because you know when I'm not in a good place I can't access compassion so when I'm not doing breathing space it has an instant impact on the way I feel about my mum and it, it also I notice that I don't sleep very well I notice that I get quite tetchy with people I notice that I eat more and I put on weight and that can all happen in a, a relatively short space of time, in, in about two weeks. So for me, it's just such an integral part of my practice. I used to be a bit kind of obsessed with it and do uh, the 45 and the 60 minute versions every single day. So I was getting up at like five in the morning to get everything done. And now I realize that actually 10 minutes, it's fine as long as I do something every day. And if I miss a day, it's just one day I get back on it the, the very next day. So for me, it's a commitment to me to really look after myself in the same way that I'll go cycling and look after my body. I'll do uh, press ups, you know, to, to, to tone myself. I also need to really work on an ongoing basis on my emotional self so that I can bring into this world more joy, more peace, more happiness. I'm a nicer person to be around. And it's just that people appear to be nicer. So whenever you're feeling a bit like, oh, is this really working? You can always test it and go for a week and notice the difference. Because after you've been doing it uh, for a, a few months, a lot of stuff that you've been holding on to for years and years and years has released and so you actually feel in a really good space and you think, well, do I really need to do this anymore? And the, the answer is yes, because you never get done. You know, even the Dalai Lama meditates on a uh, frequent, regular basis because you need to keep in alignment, you know, all of the time because, you know, what's going on around the world is constantly, you know, putting us off balance if we allow ourselves to be put off balance. So I look forward to catching up with you at some point soon and I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.